Burning Fight was released on the Neo Geo in 1991 by SNK and is your standard two-player beat-em-up game. I had to look online to find out anything about the story in Burning Fight since there is literally no mention of it whatsoever while you're playing the game. What it boils down to is that Duke and Billy, who are two of your selectable characters, are detectives that are tracking down a Japanese crime syndicate. During the course of their mission, they meet up with Ryu, who joins them to take down the boss once and for all. Burning Fight obviously borrows heavily from quite a few other games, most notably Final Fight and Crime Fighters. Look at our selectable characters, for example. There's Duke, who's basically just Cody with a different colored shirt, Ryu, who bears little more than a striking resemblance to Guy. He's even got the exact same color and has the same special move. And then there's the trademark big guy, Billy, who's slow but deals out more damage than the other two. There's a lot of weapons-based combat going on in this one, and the enemies will come at you with pretty much anything they can get their hands on, from knives to pipes to hell, even guns. I would like to note here that Duke seems to have this issue where he carries every weapon as effeminately as humanly possible. I noticed it the other day, and now it bugs me every time I think about the game. Look how he's holding that gun. How could you ever expect anyone to take you seriously if you walked around holding a gun like that? One thing that is kind of unique about Burning Fight are the optional bonus areas where you can get power-ups and extra points. Usually, in most levels, there will be a door that you can choose to go into. Once in there, you're given a few seconds to smash up some merchandise or furniture in order to grab yourself a power-up. Shopkeepers must love these guys. Just like most games in the genre, each level is home to a boss that you'll have to defeat in order to move on to the next one. A few of the encounters are kind of funny, like the second Hulk Hogan looking boss that smashes a fountain for no apparent reason before pointing at the sky and charging at you. Oh, and another thing that bugs me about this game, it has no ending, regardless of who you beat it with. Why bother coming up with a storyline for a game if you're not even going to acknowledge its resolution at the end? The graphics in Burning Fight are pretty decent, there's a fair amount of detail in the backgrounds, but I'm just not a huge fan of a lot of the character design. The majority of the enemies are just cookie cutter beat em up bad guys, and none of them really stand out. The sprites themselves are pretty large and the game moves fairly well, but it's just not that impressive compared to the insane amount of detail we've all come to expect in most Neo Geo titles. I'll give this one a little bit of a break since it came out so early in the Neo Geo's lifespan and say that overall, it looks pretty good. The music and sound in Burning Fight are about as standard as everything else in the game. The music does its job, but it's nothing you'll be thinking about or humming later, and the sound effects are typical as far as what you would expect from any beat-em-up game. There are a few voice samples here and there, like when selecting a character, but they sound really muffled. Can anyone tell me what the hell Billy's saying when you pick him? I still haven't figured it out. I'll imprison Kastra. Burning Fight controls like you would expect it to. You've got an attack button, a jump button, and hitting both of them together does your special attack. Get used to it too, since you'll be using the hell out of it in the later stages. It does feel a bit sluggish at times, but that could also have a lot to do with how often you get hit while playing. It gets a bit frustrating when just about anything in the game can kill you in under 3 or 4 hits. Get used to seeing the continue screen a lot. You will run across health items here and there, just like most games in the genre. You'll usually end up punching them out of a phone booth or a garbage can. I'll never quite understand that whole thing. If I ever punched a phone booth and a fully cooked ham came out of it, the last thing I would think to do would be to eat it. 
Burning Fight is not a bad game. It's just dreadfully average as far as beat-em-ups go. I'm not quite sure why this one is considered a classic and was added to the SNK collections over games like Mutation Nation or Sengoku 2 and 3, both of which were much better examples of how the genre was represented on the Neo. It's a decent game that's much more fun with a friend than in single player mode, but even still when there are so many better options out there, it's hard to recommend sitting down and playing through this one. At least if you do decide to, it's pretty easy to find and is available for a variety of systems at reasonable prices. It'll also only take you about 30 minutes or so from start to finish, and even less than that if you're playing with a friend. Try this one out if you're a big fan of the genre like I am, but don't be too disappointed if it happens to pass you by. You're really not missing that much. As always, guys, thanks for watching and subscribing. Until next time, stay classic.